What's up guys? Back for another one today. So, as you can probably tell by the title, taking off the bumper, we're going to do the lower trim um, on the bumper. It's chrome, I don't like it. Uh, the only places that's really silver or chrome is there on the lower bumper, the grill, the middle grill piece, and where it goes through the headlights, and then like my brake rotors, and that's pretty much it. Um, when I was in California, I saw a handful of cars that have that lower piece wrapped and the grill wrapped. I don't know about doing the grill. I kind of like the silver that does go through the headlights and the grill itself. I think with the grill black, it looks weird on the headlights just having the silver alone. But uh, so where the emblem is, you'll see in this little B-roll, whatever you want to call it. I want to wrap the outside of the emblem though, but leave the line going through and then wrap the bottom. But I'm not sure what I want to wrap it. So this right here, this is like literally the same color as my car. It's absolutely perfect. I bought it randomly like three years ago probably at the, a local uh, place in town that does wrap. The only difference is um, this has like a lot of sparkle in it. You can't tell on camera, but uh, like when I did, I did the front emblem, not like the emblem itself, but like the background of it, and it, it didn't look right, but I have it on the back, and I'll show you here. But then I just, I have flat black, or the, Piano black, I mean, I don't have a whole lot of it. I think I can at least do the grills with this, or the the trim on the bumper with this. But I don't think I'd have enough left over to do what I want to do on the emblem, which I could just buy more. But I also have carbon wrap. I got a good bit of this left over. I think this would be enough to do the lower as well. I might just use some of this as like a test, make sure I'm doing it right. But this would like get all, this has like another layer of film over top so it doesn't get like all messed up. And then like matching the, the weave across the whole thing, I think with stretching it, cause you gotta kinda, you gotta kinda stretch it and get heat on it, to get it to adhere right. So I don't know, probably won't be using that. I'm not really a fan of fake carbon on cars anyway. I have carbon mirror caps I could throw back on, it would match a little bit, but they're kinda like worn from the sun and stuff. So we'll see, we'll get the bumper and the grill off and uh, I don't know, I'll probably grab some of my chairs, set my bumpers up on the chairs. From what I understand, the clips to, to get this off is like a pain in the butt. So I'm going to grab like a bunch of little whatever I have laying around, like some razor blades and some files and maybe some like butter knives and cards and stuff. Apparently the tabs on there are like super tough and there's like 23 of them. So we'll see. Apparently it's pretty windy outside. Okay, Google, pause. So, the next screws are all gonna be in the fender here. The camera's not gonna focus because it's too dark. And uh, then the under tray under the car. So the under tray I think is three on one side, four on the other, one in the middle. So that's like eight. And then the rest of where the fender liner attaches to the bumper on each corner, which I think is like four or so on each side, maybe five. And then what's in the fender here, one, two, three? Oh, I'm missing one. Something like that. Oh, I need to fix that too. <laughs> well, good thing I, I ordered a, a kit of these screws a very long time ago, so I got a bunch of extras sitting around, but there's a bunch of them that come out, and then you'll pull the tab of the bumper right here. This will just pop out. And there's a screw that holds that in as well, I believe. So I'll turn the wheel to one side, get that done, turn the wheel to the other, get the other side done, get under the car, get all those out, pull the bumper off, and then bring it inside. It's pretty easy. I'll go over it. So getting up in here, <laughs> apparently I rub a bit more than I ever noticed. Uh, it's kind of hard to get the camera to focus because it's so bright out, but yeah. That, uh, oh, and it broke right there. So you got one, two, uh three and four on each side and then whatever's under the car that's crazy though um yeah i guess i need to raise the car up a little bit that's something to 
cut my camera mounts a little bit more so I can access them from the top and then uh, add more camera. More camera should actually maybe help with this, but uh, yeah, wow. It's, uh, it's not great. Like I said before, there's eight for the under tray itself, and then you gotta get this piece disconnected from the bumper, and there's just two on each side. You got this corner and this corner right here, and uh, I took this one out by accident. You don't need to, but it's not, it's not attached to the liner. Now here, if you've never taken your bumper off before, it's gonna be rough. The first time I did this, I thought I was gonna rip the shit out of my bumper. We're gonna just grab on this, corner and just pop. There's two tabs on each side. Maybe there's three. There might be a third one. What? Oh, see, there we go. One, two, three. Mine's like, one of the tabs are broken, but it doesn't really, really matter. But what you're looking at is here. One, two, three, and then there's your vertical screw. Make sure you get that one out. Don't miss that one. Goes goes straight up. You got one, two, three. Do it on the other side, and the whole bumper cover should come off. Then you do you do have the paint. If you have DCC or any of that stuff, I don't know what to tell you because I don't have it. But my you have the R's have uh, you get the washer. These like pop out and shoot washer fluid onto the lights. I have it disabled, but you still have to disconnect it. You'll disconnect it on each side behind the bumper. So when you're looking under the car and the front of the car is towards your feet, you have your tray that you took off that has like the eight. Well, there's three more up front and like in front of that more towards the front of the car. I didn't think you had to take those off, but you do. And I'll show you on the bumper here. But uh, you want to move your... You got this running across. You want to take those out of the tabs. And once you got those, all that stuff out, It'll come out and kind of set it down. Two runs across. Where do we disconnect? Right here. Piss everywhere. It's going to continue to piss everywhere. <laughs> oh, you guys get to see me mess up a bunch today. <laughs> so I forgot with the, uh, with the washer fluid system here. APR, I think is who it was, they included like a nipple that goes over, so you'll disconnect the headlight washers from the bottle itself, and then they give you this little plastic piece, and it slides over it so you don't lose all your fluid. So I'm gonna go dig that out of my toolbox and do that real quick, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I do believe this is it. It's just a little rubber guy. It'll just pop right in, and it'll just cover the hole where the, uh, where the fluid leaves, so. We'll get down there. It's just like a, a two press. You press it both on one side, it pulls out, you put this on, and you're good to go. All right, so uh, to the left of me is the wheel. Okay, so what you're looking at here, you're gonna follow this line. It's all nasty and gross. I just spilt stuff everywhere. Um, you see there's this blue tab, and there's one on the direct opposite side, so you gotta squeeze both to get it off. But it attaches to this. It attaches to this and it's gonna sit facing the back of the car. It's hard to do. So it's gonna sit facing over there, but you can rotate this out 90 degrees and then you can get your, your fingers onto the tabs. So you'll you'll unhook it from these two little brackets and then you'll rotate it out 90 degrees and you can grab it and pop it off. But re-ready, because if your face is laying under it like I am right now, you're gonna you're gonna um yeah, you're gonna make a mess and you're gonna get it on your face so beware it's kind of a pain in the butt it's probably the biggest pain out of this whole thing is is that guy right there and i don't think that was the right one either because it was a pain in the butt to get on there so um yeah be ready so it's literally been like an hour i've been fooling with this i can't find any diys online um 
So the back of this bumper there is like a thousand different clips and I'll show you here in a minute. And to like, I have, I pulled out a bag of freaking tacks and I have all my tools and I've been trying to jam them in all the clips and then yank it, nothing. Can't get this shit to budge at all. The only thing I've seen, do I got shit all over my face? The only thing I've seen is like people actually taking it somewhere, getting it professionally done. I'm not about that life. If I'm, if I'm getting it wrapped, I'm wrapping it myself, except for the roof. Uh, it's like super dusty and windy where I live. I need like a, a nice sealed garage to do that. But uh, it's another, another time. So what I came up with, I couldn't, so what I, I kind of want to do, because this pretty much matches the car, right? But I couldn't lay it on there just right because it curves. So you think about a curve, the PC would need, would have to be like this thick, you know, because it curves. So it would, you get on and you have to trim, trim, trim and, and, you know, whatever. So I don't plan on really using the carbon wrap. So I put the carbon wrap up against it as far as I could. And then when it, the curve got too deep, I would cut and grab the other piece, cut, grab another seat. So we kind of got like pie cuts going on. If you guys ever seen somebody weld an exhaust or anything. So pretty much pie cutting the, um, the wrap here. So I taped it. Now I'm going to take this off very carefully. Now this will be basically the template that I need and up only need it up to the tape. So I'm going to cut it. Well, I should have measured this. It doesn't matter. Basically, I'm going to lay this whole piece onto the blue, cut that out, and it should be about the proper shape that I need for this piece. And then I'll go ahead and I'll flip it, trace it, and then do it again for that side. And then I think the middle section, I'm going to do the flat black. So it'll be like color matched on the sides. And then uh, they're the piano black, I mean, in the center. It doesn't match up completely. I wanted it, it'd be better if it stopped right here, I think, because it would stay with the blue. Maybe I will do that and then do from here all the way to the next section, black, which is going to, it might, the piece I have isn't long enough, so I would have to probably do it in like three sections, maybe do it like this little bit and then do like half and then, I don't know, we'll see, but I'm the man with the plan right now. I'm pretty excited that I actually like came up with this idea all on my own. I didn't look this up or nothing. I was just like, I sat here for like 20 minutes with this wrap. Like, how am I gonna see? I was like cutting other pieces up, and I was like, how the hell am I gonna do this? Because I don't want to overlay the wrap a bunch. Like, I'd be okay with the black. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this turns out. But let me show you the clips back here real quick. Like, see, yeah, I got all these tacks in here. I gotta. I'm gonna pull out, but there's like clip, 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 clip. Like you have to take out this whole your actual grill to get to the section for the uh, the chrome up front, and then I think the, this whole section here has to come off, and then undo undo it down there. You undo it here, and you got all these clips around to get this whole assembly off to get to the clips that are behind it, because the other trim piece runs down here, so. I don't want to deal with all that. As much as I love DIY stuff, um, that is not a DIY for me. There are just too many clips. Um, if there was, I don't know, if I had credit cards to cut up or something and stick in each slot, and then even then, I need like another set of hands. It's just very annoying. I did give it quite a bit of thought. Now we're going to try this route. Maybe it will work. Maybe it won't. We'll see. See now, here's what we got going on. I basically put this, see there's a rip in here, which is actually perfect for the amount of bend that I need, but I taped it onto this wrap, it's super shiny. So you can kinda, I taped it down this, now I'll cut this out, and I made it obviously a little bit wider than what it needs. So I'll cut that out on ice, and then I'll take the tape off, and the other wrap off, and I should have a nice piece that'll freaking slip right on there pretty decently. If I do the cuts as well as I think, and I can kinda fine do them, I'll lay it on there a couple times, cut where I need to, I think. <laughs> and it really, like I was saying, if I only need to go right here, it'll be a lot simpler. But uh, the bend for the black would only be, you know, here to here maybe, and then this'll be a pretty straightforward piece, and then another black piece to here, and then the blue piece again. So it'd be one, two, three, four, four five pieces of wrap and it's gonna be hard to like line them up perfectly like it had to be a straight on cut <sighs> this is kind of nerve-wracking 
kind of not really nerve-wracking, but we'll see. Hopefully this turns out decent. Otherwise, this video is just going to be stupid, and you guys can just make fun of me. But I'm learning. Not going to lie, I'm pretty proud of myself here. Um, a bumper is a little dusty, and the, the, the color of this, I mean, it is ever so slightly off, but I think I am just going to cut it straight right there. I'm, well, I'm going to lay the whole thing. That's what I'm going to do, and then I'll probably cut it. See what we can do here. I'm a little nervous because it's going to be hard getting the sticky part. Like, like it's pretty deep. Like it goes in there pretty far, and it tapers pretty hard. So we'll see. I'll just lay it down, and I'll get a razor blade and get under this lip. Slice it there. Well, here we go. You know, sometimes I I I, I made this YouTube channel because. I want to be able to help people, right? Like, I love the people that, that brought me into the car scene and, and taught me the basics, and I basically went off and did the research from there, and I've, I'm a really good self-learner. Like, I, I like um, being challenged. I like I like this kind of shit, where I, I go in just not knowing really what the, the fuck I'm doing. I got a general idea of what I want done and how I want to do it, but you never know. Anyway, so this, this worked. Like, it worked, and I'm very happy. I haven't cut it yet. But, like, and see, now at this angle, you can really see that it matches really well. So I got it laid on there, and I got it up against, you can see the lip. Uh, you can see the lip here. I can kind of get my nail down in there and, and see where I'm going to cut. Get that all across. Like, shit like this makes me so happy. It makes me so proud of myself. Like, today was a really shitty day at work. I'm back on day shift, so, like, I... By, I go get to work at 6 in the morning, by like 8 o'clock, I'm dead tired. Like, I'm usually going to bed at like 9 in the morning because I'm getting off at 6, so my sleep schedule's all messed up. Anyway, I get from, home from work today, and I was like, ah, oh, I want to do this bumper, I want to get it done, blah, 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 and I'm like laying in bed, and like I had to like force myself up, and I was like, all right, well, once you get the bumper off, you can have a beer. <laughs> so, now I'm drinking my beer, I'm getting this shit done. Uh, it's taking me way longer than what I expected. Had I done this from the start and not messed with the clips, it would have obviously not taken me as long, but no, I got I got one side pretty much done. Um, I'm going to take the back wrapper sitting there, trace out another one, but flipped, and do that side, and then decide on if I still want to cut it right here, and then do all this. And I, think I, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it there, and then black across. I'm happy. Like, I'm so proud of myself right now. This is cool. And then like I can go back years from now or you know, whatever, go back and watch this and be like, look at you. <laughs> look at what you used to do. And then I'll be like wide body wide body in a car in like two years or something crazy. And here you thought rap was bad and now you gotta cut your fenders up and weld and anyway, I'm just ranting. I'm happy. I'm happy with myself. This is cool. Very cool. So, a little update here. I just got the black laid. I haven't cut it yet, but this matches also perfectly. No, I got that all laid. Uh, it really helps, actually. Weird topic here, but to have fingernails to be able to press into these crevices real good, get the wrap to stick. So I'm gonna cut it down in there, wrap it across, down. And go over this real slow. Oh, sorry, I'm not even looking at the camera. Go over this real slow, get this to go over. And get your fingernail down in there and be able to, whatever. But I see, I cut this. See, earlier it was extended out to this piece. I don't know how much I like this transition, but like I was using wherever my razor blade went. Like this is as far as my razor blade will go. Come on, guy. In this corner. So I was using that so I'll have it completely even on both sides because the razor blade hits. So I just cut it right across there so that I have to make a black piece that goes here to here hopefully it looks alright we'll see alright well I know this haven't, hasn't been much of a DIY but you know once, once you get your cut cut gut it out and lay it down um, I got the transition done here so I did move I laid this black piece back some so I got it right there where I want it freaking super nice like I am so happy with the way this turned out. There's like 
the lights really shine on the edges. It makes it look like the edges are peeling up, but I trust me, they're not. It's just the way the light's shining on them. If it would actually focus. There we go. So you can see, and you know, right here is like the middle of the bumper. That's where the emblem goes. So, doing good. I'm about to lay the last blue piece down here in the corner. I'll cut that somewhere around, around here. I uh, get that all good and then do my last black piece. These, see this is like one piece from here to where the, the piece itself actually ends. Uh, and there is a gap there and you can see a little bit of chrome. I might get some, some fingernail polish or something, get down in there and paint it black, I don't know. You can't really see it from any other angle than above it. But, I mean, this is the piece that I used for that. I just like laid it up against it pretty far at a weird angle and then just cut it the way I needed to. These pieces were pretty much straight. I had to lay it up against like these pieces. Like I would lay the wrap way up here that way because there is a slight curve to it. So you have to lay it way up there and then you just trim as you need. But uh, yeah, this isn't as bad as I thought. I really wanted to take the trim pieces off to do it so I could really tuck underneath. But the way I'm cutting it, I'm able to get at least a little bit under there, and there's like enough pressure. Like it's, it's pretty hard to get your fingernail under there. They're, they're tight, they're real tight. But I'm, I'm happy. I'm super happy with the way this is coming out. Super stoked. Hopefully, we'll still have some, some daylight. It's almost seven. I think sunset's like 7:15 or something. All right, guys, here is the final look. Look at that. That is freaking awesome. Way better than the chrome. You can't even like really even see that the black is there. Like, see, look, that is crazy. I am so happy with myself. That is good. The only part I don't like, so this is where the two pieces split and I cut it, right? So you have this little gap. Um, I. I I'm probably gonna redo this one piece and then just overlap it on this side. Not overlap it, you can't even really tell. Like, I can barely see it in person. You can't really even see it on camera that that gap is even under that wrap. So, I'm probably gonna redo that. But see, I have this much black wrap left and I wanna do the outside of the Volkswagen emblem on the grill. And at 7.20, the sun's pretty much down. I need to go get this bumper on before I run out of daylight. And then I'm going to pull the grill in here and see if we can disassemble it and wrap it. But, holy shit. Like, this is good. Like, I am so happy. I don't know why I waited so long to do this. I guess I was scared. I, I don't know. I guess I needed motivation actually seeing some cars in California. But, like, it's crazy. Like, it's, and the color is so close. The camera, like, kind of makes it seem like it's, a little more off than what it is, and my bumper is dirty, but I mean, really, I mean, you're looking like right here, and the way that the, the light reflects off of it, it's good. I'm so happy. And you get up close to my bumper, I mean, it's bad anyway. There's rock chips and scratches and all types of stuff, but for now, like, I got something done. It's a Tuesday afternoon. I needed something to do, and it's done. Like, I'm extremely happy. Extremely, extremely happy. Oh, I just got it on. It looks so good. It's probably not going to look good on camera because it's, it's dark as fuck out. And I have to use my LED light here, but I'm so happy. <laughs> right, here we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah, this makes blows it way out of proportion. Yeah, this does not do it justice at all on camera. But it's good. It makes my car look totally purple. Nice. Don't mind my oil mess where I do my oil changes and stuff. Wow. Here we are the next day. Get you guys a little shot here in the sunlight. It literally just rained. Like, as I was leaving work, it decided to rain a little bit. But, uh, can you get a good look at it? It's perfect. I love it. Like I said, I want to redo this spot right here. Ooh, right here. Where it overlaps. The car's so dusty. 
It's like this one, but looks good. Really like it. I'm digging it. I wish I knew the color name for you guys, but all it says on here is 3M Series 1080. Um, I, said, I bought this wrap like two years ago when I was doing my rear emblem, so I can't help you there. But my best suggestion if you wanted to do this, yeah, I probably you could probably do it with any color really. Just go down to your local wrap place and ask them to take samples out to your car so you can color match it as best as you can. Just make sure you get a clean part of your car or clean your car before you go or whatever. But I got pretty lucky with getting a color that matches pretty much perfectly. So that's all I got for today. And uh I'm extremely happy. We got autocross this weekend, autocross next weekend. Um, hopefully these brakes will be shipped out like soon, like Monday. Hopefully he gets to it this weekend. Ships that shit out. I'm excited. It's fuck. I'm tired right now. I'm tired as hell. I just got off work. So anyway, make sure you uh, drop a thumbs up. Got any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. And uh, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.